Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Lesson 42 on Basic SQL Commands Part 2. Now, in Part 1 and Part 2, we've been covering Basic SQL, just going through the different commands, how they work, what the syntax is, and in the next series of lessons, we'll actually start using that in some uh, SQLI functions. So, we mentioned something that you had not talked about before, and that is uh, a record set. And basically, a record set is a data structure that consists of a group of database records it can either come from a base table or as a result of a query to the table. So we've been talking about it already, and it's basically just results of our query. So we're going to complete what we started in the first lesson on SQL, and we'll start with the logical operators and and or. Now, you've already seen logical operators in PHP, and they work pretty much the same uh, in uh, SQL. So let's come down and take a look at an example. So here's our person's table, and what we're going to want to do is select or use the where statement to filter. But along with the where statement, we can use the and statement. So let's take a look at how that is done. We've got a simple table here, and what we want to do is uh, filter on the first name. But maybe that's not all. Maybe we'll also want to filter on the last name. So in order to filter on the first name and the last name, we just use the and statement. So the way this goes is selects wildcard, which is a star, which means look at all the columns from the persons table, which you're looking at right here. So when the first name is equal to Tove and the last name is equal to Simpson, then return that record set or return that row. And you can see that's exactly what happens here. Here's your last name and your first name, and, and that meets the requirements of the where and the and, and you return that data. So let's go down a little bit more. You can use the or statement as well. And so what we're going to say is uh, select uh, from the table persons, uh, and when the name is Tove or Ola, then return uh, the uh, record set for that. And so uh, in this particular case, we're looking at first names, and it could be or. So there are two that have an ola and a tov, and you can see those two are actually returned here. So a very simple command to understand. And since you've already already seen and and or statements uh, before, this shouldn't be difficult for you. Now you can combine and and or statements. So in this particular case, we're going to combine the or and the and statement. And uh, so whenever the last name is equal to Simpson, and the first name is equal to Tov or Ola, then return the record to that. And in this particular case, this only happens once. Now, ordered by basically will arrange your uh, table in order. And in this particular case, we'll look at uh, basically alphabetical order. But you can have ascending or descending order using these particular keywords. And if you leave these words off, then it automatically does ascending by default. So let's take a look at an example. So we have this little table here. We're going to order by ascension. And all that's actually going to do when you run that command, let's take a look at the command. Just, you know, order star from persons, ordered by last name. It's going to look at that last name uh, table. It's going to ascend in alphabetical order. And you can see these are all arranged in alphabetical order. Pretty simple to understand. So in this next command, we're just going to descend just the opposite direction in alphabetical ordering. And you can see we just tack the descent on the end of the last name ordering and uh, we just order reverse alphabetical ordering so that's pretty easy to do very important command that we're going to come along here and look at is insert into this is basically how you create new records in your record set or in your database so let's come along here and take a look at it very simple there's actually two ways to do this you can insert to a table basically table name and just put the values and it'll string the values out for you or you can insert into specific columns in your particular database, which is very important. You may just want to replace a few things uh, and not others. So let's come along here and take a look at the insert command. Of course, once again, you're not replacing here. What you're actually doing is you're actually inserting. So in the first case, we're just going to insert values. So we're looking at our persons table again. And the way it goes is insert into persons. That's the name of the table. And there's just the values. The string of values is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we actually have one, two, three, four, five. So just at the very end of the table, insert that information. And you can see it does. But we also can specify the columns that we insert into. In this particular case, what we're going to do insert into persons once again uh, with the ID, the last name, and the first name. So we're going to actually leave the last two uh, columns blank when we make this insertion. And we're going to put in five. So let's come along and take a look at this. And you can see that last column, that's exactly what we do. Now, if you want to create, you want to be able to update what you've created. In this particular case, we're actually going to use the update statement to actually fill in these last two uh, 
columns right here. And so what the update statement is going to do is basically use an update with the table name, then set the column value 1 equal to something and the column value 2 equal to something. So you're actually, so you're actually going to call out the columns that you want to update and then give them the values you want them to update to. This is a very easy example to see. Let's come down here and take a look at it. We're going to update these two columns here. So let's go ahead and do that. And the way we do it, we just execute the update persons command. We want to update the address column and the city column. Uh, and we want to set those equal to uh, Nistian67 and Sendus. And uh, basically, wherever the last name is equal to uh, Sesson and the first name is equal to Jacob. So once again, it's going to choose this particular row because you have Sesson and Jacob. And it's going to update address and city. And if you come along and take a look at the example, that's indeed what it does. So that's the syntax of how that works. And then, of course, in the next series, we're actually going to use this in programming. So uh, just bear with me. This, once again, is just a review of all the different syntax rules. One warning about updating. If you omit the where statement, then watch out because it's going to update everything and totally ruin your table. So don't forget to put your where in there. Big warning right here. Don't forget that. Well, if you create, you update, you want to actually delete. And delete statement is extremely simple. All you have to do is hit the delete from whatever the table name is and give your where condition that you're going to tell it what to delete. So let's take a look at this. Now notice this is very important as well. Notice the where clause and the delete syntax. The where clause specifies which record or records that should be deleted. If you admit the where clause, all records will be deleted. Very, very bad. Never do that. Okay? So let's execute that command, give you an example of how that works. Here's our little uh, people's table. And we're going to go delete from persons where last name is equal to Sesam and first name is equal to Jacob. And basically what that should do is delete the last uh, row for you. And let's come along and see if that's what it does. When you run the command, it deletes the last row. Very, very easy to do. And we've actually just finished our review of uh, basic SQL commands. And next time we'll start applying them. So let's review quickly what we've done in this lesson today. Today we finished the uh, review of basic SQL commands. We talked about what a record set was and uh, how that basically can be a return from a query. We talked about how important the where statement is. That is a data filter. So if you want to go through a particular table, you want to filter on a data set using and or or logical operators, you can do that. And that enables you to delete, update, create, and read. And uh, we looked at their logical operators and and or and how they could be used together or alone. We looked at the ordered by keyword and showed you how to order things ascending or descending by using those particular keywords. We looked at the insert into command, which allows us to actually create a record in a database or basically a row of data. We saw that it had two forms where you could insert values or you could specify what columns you want to insert those values into. We saw how you could use the update statement to update uh, records that had already been inserted into the database. We warned you about using the where statement because if you leave it off, you'll actually uh, end up updating the entire table as opposed to one single column or row. And we also saw how to use the delete statement to delete uh, information from a, a database. But we also once again warn you about using the where statement because if you don't use it, you'll delete the entire table. So we've finished our basic uh, review of SQL commands. There's not that many of them, and they're easy to use. And we'll start using them in the next lesson. So thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively. I'll see you next time.